Hi YouTube, it's Joe here. Um, Saturday morning, just got back from the boot sale, just gonna whiz around and show you what I've picked up and also some charity shop finds I've had this week as well. So um, yeah, I'll just get straight into it. Um, picked up a pair of uh, New Balance, I think they are, yeah, 471s, uh, size 7, they were £2.50. They're not a particularly popular New Balance, but for £2.50, you should get about 15 quid back on them. All this stuff's from the charity shops, I paid a pound for all these games. Um, another code on the DS, Prince of Persia Warrior Within, I mean, there's... there's on the GameCube and Sonic Heroes on the GameCube, there's not much money in those, but GameCube games are quite desirable, so I might be able to bundle those up with some uh, with some of the other Prince of Persia copy um, titles. Halo for a pound, I sell Halo one and two, sometimes one, two, and three in a bundle, um, which do quite well. Sing Star, sing along with Disney. Of all the Sing Stars, that's one of the most uh, popular ones. You get about seven, eight quid for that one. Final Fantasy X2, I sell X and X2 as a bundle together um, for about twelve quid. And then I actually pay two quid for this because it's sealed. Um, it's Hulk Hogan on um, main event on the Connect. Again, not much money in it, about six quid, but it's an easy sale. It's, it's brand new. And just while on the topic of DVDs and stuff, um, this is the size you want to look out for if you ever want to send things in uh, in pairs. F threes. Um, you can get two DVDs in there, and it still goes as a large letter in the UK. So that's really handy. F threes for the doubles, D ones for the singles. A um, couple of pairs of Levi's. These are each three quid. This is a pair of five five sevens. Uh, waist twenty eight, leg thirty two. Really nice. They do quite well. They're Eves. They're actually um, uh, in the label here. Yeah. Uh, square cut straight they do all right they're not they're not brilliant but and then a pair of um five five two sevens thirty two thirty these will do these will do a bit better they'll probably get about 20 quid around there for those so that was good i actually picked up this training top this adidas training top i've never picked up one of these but i remember these when i was a kid um so i thought i'd i just looked it up and um it's got a big it's, it's large it's got adidas logo on the back somebody sold this exact same one for 35 quid so i paid a fiver for that so really pleased with that a um, couple of games and things down here. This was um, this was really good actually. This is um, Middle Earth. It's um, what's it called? Merp or something? I don't know exactly much about this stuff, but it's a games. What does it say? Yeah, it's a games workshop set of um, of books and stuff like that, which you can work through. Um, it's all still in really good condition inside. It's got it's got a couple of dice in there. It's got the yeah Merp, whatever that stands for. I need to look into it a little bit. Um, it's got the boards. It's got the main the main book there, but it also has got um, it's got all the characters. And it's actually got an expansion in here, and that expansion goes for about fifteen quid by itself, I think, give or take. And yeah, a couple of dice. Um, that I mean, I didn't I didn't look it up because I knew it had be money in it. That was a pound for all of that. So yeah, did quite well on that. Got um, three big box games for one pound fifty. They're all complete, all pretty mint condition actually that's um Baldur's Gate Shadows of Arm Icewind Dale which was also from that same sort of franchise the Baldur's Gate franchise isn't quite as popular because it's not actually compatible with the games it's just an individual game and then this game Majesty um sort of a fantasy kingdom sim I mean I've not I've sold Baldur's Gate a few times in the past. I've actually sold the huge um, box of that for about 70 quid. If you ever come across it, the, like the deluxe edition of Baldur's Gate or Shadows of Arm, really worth obviously picking up. Um, but yeah, I mean, there should be a bit of money in those, not a huge amount. I might sell them all, all three together. Um, this was just totally random. Um, it's called Body Wrap Beatbox Machine. I just saw it and it was £2 and I thought, you know what? <laughs> it's it's got to have some sort of retro value. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, really... You know, it's like a machine, you put it on and it's sort of, you tap yourself and do different things and it wraps and someone had one and sold it for about 20 quid, but I just thought, you know, that's pretty, pretty amazing. So yeah, went for that. Lord of the Rings board game. Um, unfortunately, it's missing a couple of bits, but it was only a pound. So um, yeah, I'll just see what I can do with that. So that was all stuff from the car boot and from the charity shops this week. I actually picked up some other stuff, but I've already shown you that. And then this morning over here is things that I got from the boot sale. So Again, whizzing through these, got a Cluedo for a pound, complete. Um, Rush Hour for a pound, again, complete, which is great. A couple of pairs of trainers. These are a bit more expensive. The boot sale wasn't particularly busy this morning, um, so you often end up having to pay a bit more for stuff. But these were really quality. A pair of Nike Air Maxes. The tread's really good, decent condition. I paid a tenner for these, but I'd look to get between 45 50 back for those. Probably, yeah, probably... 40 upwards yeah maybe 50s pushing it a bit but they're a quality pair of trainers and also these these adidas trainers i paid a tenner for these as well but they're actually um the team gb ones which gives them a bit of a bit of value they're a good size a size nine somebody sold a pair of eights 
for 50 quid and they were they were with the box so you know i should get about 30 hopefully back on those um a couple of uh a couple of games nothing particularly good indiana jones lego sonic here is a bit of water damage to that actually but for a pound i can do all right with those Picked up some DVDs. I don't really do much um, with DVDs, but I just knew it was going to, there was going to be money in what this person was selling because they were asking for not even asking for a pound for these. You know, like sort of pick, people were picking up bundles, and she was saying, "Oh, just give me three quid for all these sort of DVDs." So I just went for the things that I knew there'd be some money in. So I got the Blade trilogy, which isn't a bit of money in that. I got the Star Wars trilogy of Family Guy, uh, a sealed copy of One Tree Hill series nine. Um, this was the best pickup I got, the Blu-ray complete of uh, like Stanley Kubrick films. That goes for about 15 quid. Um, the Dark Knight Triple Plan Blu-ray, not much money in that, maybe three quid. And then season 10 of Family Guy. And for all those, I paid five quid for all of that. So, yeah, I was really pleased with that. So there's definitely some money in that. Um, picked up these... Uh, these Stavolo Point Visco rollerball pens. There's a guy who sells a lot of new stuff there and he had these down there and they were £2 a pack and they go for about £7.50, £8. So I picked up five. My wife's already taken one pack because she wanted them. Uh, next I had a set of five pairs of trainers. Again, I paid a bit more on these than I would normally want to, but there's they're some really nice trainers in there. I've got a pair of nice size 7 Vans, a, a black size 7 pair of Vans, decent pair of Adidas trainers, Adidas did a range actually of, of trainers and there was some like this which were um, Star Wars. I think this was a, they did a Boba Fett version of this trainer. Um, if ever you see the Star Wars Adidas trainers, they're worth yeah they're well worth picking up because there's a lot of money in them. But yeah, those are those are pretty good condition. Um, these Air Force Ones, they've got a couple marks on, but they'll all rub off. They're actually excellent condition as well. A pair of Converse size six, which has sort of rainbow jazzy laces I thought they're quite interesting and I say I did pay more than I would have normally paid for those one two three four five pairs I paid 20 quid they wanted a tenner for these by themselves so I did well to get everything for the price I did really but yeah there should be lots of there should be money in these these should hopefully go for about 35 quid by themselves 30 pounds and just see what I do with the rest um nice pair of vans uh size five and a half really good condition I got a few, bit of marking on the rims but that will all come off so yeah, really pleased with that. Again, I think I've said this before, but with vans, you just have to remember the sizing. Yeah, they give you the sizing in the US size. So you just have to take one size off. So that's size six and a half. So it's a five and a half UK. And then a pair of diesel jeans. I think these are Ravixes. Again, I, they're w women's diesel jeans, which I've said I don't really buy unless the price is right. And these were a pound. So yeah, it was well worth picking up. And just to remember with your diesels, check in here in the label. You've got that hologram label at the bottom, the little hologram silver strip at the bottom there, which you can read the diesel in, and that'll give that'll show you that they're genuine. And also this label here, it's a bit worn on this one, but if you look in there, you've got the model, Ravix, and it's got the leg, so they're 34 in the waist, 32 in the leg, and then the LAV over here, the LAV, 857. So that gives you the, the style and the sort of the yeah the cut of those and that's well worth including if you ever sell diesel jeans it's well worth including those in your title so it'd be i'll sell those as diesel ravix 784s or whatever it was um with the leg and the waist size so yeah really help your viewers also i think i showed you a pair of trainers yesterday or a couple of days ago which were really dirty on the rims and i just whizzed round them with some of that jiff cleaner and as you can see they come up pretty spotless so yeah it's well worth giving, spending a bit of time just cleaning up the rims of your trainers, getting getting them look really good um, if you're going to sell them. Unfortunately, in terms of what's going out the door today, I had a really bad couple of days. Um, I didn't sell anything yesterday. I sold one thing the day before, which I posted straight away. We didn't sell anything yesterday, so there's nothing to post. That space there, totally empty, so gutted. So hopefully things pick up a bit this weekend. I mean, it's, it's sort of week into a new month so people don't always have a lot of money this time of the month and there was halloween and bonfire night so who knows maybe things will pick up in a bit hope everyone's had a good morning um yeah cheers i may go out tomorrow um i don't know if the boot sale will be on so i'll check but yeah hopefully get some of this stuff listed i'm gonna try and do 50 new listings over the course of this week i just need to get on with stuff and yeah try and change my luck a little bit cheers everybody bye